Sorry. Oh, oh, my apologies. I, I didn't mean to startle you. Sir, I do not want to talk to you. I've had a long day. Just leave. Oh, uh, now, now, I know we got off on the wrong foot, and I apologize for letting myself in, but I was just entranced by the beautiful, um, decor in here. You know, I always was curious about the ghost stories they told about Fleming's Ranch. The rigged miners, the rugged mines, the Confederate camps, even that whole Gregor's Wendigo debacle. It's a shame to watch all that history literally go up in flames. I suppose. You suppose? Well, I can tell from an attitude like that, you're definitely a local. You look exhausted. Must be hard work. Working all that land, huh, Miss Fleming? I understand No! That... I beg your pardon? You can beg all you want, but you are not getting the Fleming Ranch. Especially not from me. For that, you would have to talk to my aunties, and they ain't exactly the type of people who take kindly to strange city boys barging up their personal space. No, no, no. You have completely misunderstood my purpose for being here. I am here to serve both of our best interests. And how's that, huh? The Flemings disowned me a long while ago. The only thing they care about is that goddamn ranch. They don't care about nothing else. Not the town, and certainly not me. Now, certainly we can think of something. If they so much got a snip of you, you'd have a much bigger hole to breathe through. <laughs>